of Here's This, solo cruisers have long been neglected, but the trend is showing that it's slowly changing. More and more cruise lines are building their newer ships with solo cabins at a cheaper price point than the double occupancy cabins just to tap into this market. Good! Now, the practice has always been if a solo cruiser booked a cabin meant for double occupancy, they'd have to pay a single supplement. Now, that is a percentage of the fare for the second guest not in the cabin to offset the loss of revenue for the cabin overall. In most cases, that single supplement is 100%. You would actually have to That's pay for two people, even if you were going alone. That's ridiculous, everyone. It is ridiculous. Continue. Now, cruise lines even use this practice as a way to offer sales to solo travelers, discounting the single supplement sometimes all the way down to 0% just to fill empty cabins and make some money, because then all of a sudden, solo travelers matter to them. But how do we feel about the shift and should compete and how should competing cruise lines respond to these newer ships with solo cabins? Okay, well, first of all, there should not be a single supplement fee. That is absolutely ridiculous. I agree. And also, I'm sorry, but sometimes even if you're like besties with someone, those rooms are a little bit kind of can sometimes be on the smaller side. Yeah. Maybe you don't want to share. Right. Or, or maybe someone like also, I don't know if you read my article. You're very worked up about this one. I don't know if you read my article on thejetset.com. I, I did actually. Solo traveling on a cruise ship, and a lot of people, especially post when the world melted, a lot of people want to travel, and doing this on a cruise ship is a great it way is. to get out, see the world in a safe, structured environment. There's a lot of ladies out there who want to. Look at me. You, you oh. are one of those ladies that want to travel without your co-host. So, I mean, I totally understand. I actually don't really want to travel with anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I need a break. But this is... The then again, every time you travel with Juan from the Jet Set in Espanol, everyone mm -hmm. thinks you're married. So is that why now you go by yourself? <laughs> no. Oh. I actually I love traveling oh. with Juan. He's one of my favorites. <laughs> but I mean, there should be... The, things are changing, especially after what the world went through and people want to travel along. Yeah. So what do you think then? Should they remove the single supplement altogether? But then how do they like they offset the loss of revenue? They should just have cabins that are just made for solo people. Okay, so what about on the older so cruise ships up. then? Then just have some cabins dedicated just for solo travelers. Yes. Because you know, like Norwegian Cruise Lines has a whole section of the ship called studios devoted to solo travelers. Really? And then it, the stu they're all inside rooms though. Uh -huh. Only their new ships are coming with balcony rooms because solo okay. travelers have to be hidden away. <laughs> But when you're hidden away in those inside rooms, yep. you do have access to a whole uh, single uh, solo traveler like area that the rest of the ship oh, cannot access. I like you have it. your own like bar and lounge, so you can meet other solo travelers I like and then form friends on the ship. You know, I learn something new in the jet set every day. <laughs> I didn't know about this thing. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Let me. And like it's like we're saying, like, and in fact, it's Norwegian Cruise Lines that's building the newer ships mm -hmm. with balcony rooms. For solo travelers because up till this point unless you paid the single supplement yeah. you had to stay in an inside room oh look at that norwegian cruise lines ahead of the game well and then you know we were talking recently about the luxury cruise line explorer journeys mm -hmm. now they do say that they will have single supplements but it'll never be at 100 percent. and at okay. the moment it's at zero okay so uh, you know like you'll you will be able to get out there and explore and go on cruises hopefully in the future by yourself because i agree though it's Cruising is the best way to get out there and see places you haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. It's the most economical too. Mm -hmm. The price tag might look like a lot at first, but then when you realize it's your hotel, it's your food, it's your, your transportation. Your, your things, your right. excursions. But then if you go by yourself, you have to pay double. Tune in here to find out what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. We'll be right back in 30 seconds.